So many of us today are looking for the miracle cure to a healthier body and a better lifestyle. One chiropractor in Onondaga County says that he has part of the answer. Our Jolene DeRossier visited Dr. Joe Borio and went through the motions herself. Can I just get, like, maybe a brief history, um, some tests, okay. some x-rays, and some questions. I often have a sore, stiff neck, so how did it happen? Did, did this happen uh, other from any other mishap, any other falls? You know what, it's when I sleep. I think it's the way I sleep. Dr. Joseph Borio says if you've got a well-aligned back and neck, you're on your way to a better you. Sounds like a miracle cure just by having a, an aligned body. Uh, it certainly is one facet of how your body should to work and function. Certainly you need to eat well, you need to exercise, you need to get a good night's sleep. You certainly need to have a positive mental attitude. You're doing great, beautiful. I'm going to come around and then just draw. That's perfect. <laughs> so. No one teaches you how to be well. Which, what's unfortunate is the word physician is Latin for teacher. And we've lost that in our healthcare system. No one teaches you how to be healthy. And as a result, no one says, hey, this is what you need to do, and let me show you the way in order to avoid that potential problem. You have heart uh, problems, blood pressure, obesity. Uh, we're, we're looking for pills. We're putting rings around our gastrointestinal system, whatever. When in reality, if we could sit down with somebody that has the knowledge and give you inspiration and information, that person's going to make much better choices, not only short-term, but long-term. The American Medical Association's opposition to chiropractic care was at its strongest in the 1940s. And in a landmark lawsuit in the 1980s, it was found that the American Medical Association was guilty of conspiracy and ordered to pay restitution. Today, many, many physicians have a more positive view on chiropractors. In Cicero, Jolene DeRosier, News 10 Now.